This is what we got to greet us? Wait. <laughs> hey guys. I'm Rod the Fox and welcome back to Fun Depths. Now we're going to head straight into here and continue working on the miniature that we worked on last episode. But before we go ahead and do that, I got another creation I want to show you guys. And this one, I came across this one off camera when I went to come in here and get a thumbnail for the previous episode. And it immediately caught my attention for one particular reason. Here we have the Iron Firament Brawl of Battleship by CZHOU. 56. I'm gonna let you guys know I'm a fan of Warhammer. I don't know a lot of the Warhammer stuff. I mean, I know some of it. I know the Chaos Gods and I know of the couple of chapters from Warhammer, but this outright looks like an Imperial ship. I came across the comments for this and someone said the exact same thing. So we're gonna be taking a look at this today because yeah, this honestly got me excited because it's not very often that I see Warhammer 40k builds or builds based off of Warhammer. And this honestly is a nice sight to see. So we're going to head in and get a good look at this ship because this thumbnail looks looks very promising. Oh, Jesus. This is what we got to greet us? Oh. Oh yeah, and I, I must have heard about a half a dozen guns blown up with ammo as soon as I spawned this thing in. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna say this, this looks, this looks amazing already. And this is just a friggin' bridge. Okay, what does it actually look like in here? A good look. Oh, damn. And we even got a telepad in here. That looks cool. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna use those in here or not. There's a door. Oh, that's cool. Wait, I'm curious. Does that door actually work? Uh, no. Okay, so you just phrase right through it. Okay. Though it would legitimately be amazing if it did. I suppose that if you use a, uh, a spin block, get in the chair, and put the uh, door on it that way, that would work. Okay, so what? Okay, so it looks like we have a bit of a seating area. It's a cake. <laughs> I suppose even, um, um, well, this isn't exactly War Warhammer 40k, but I mean, the stuff in here, uh, is close enough to source material. I mean, it's uncanny. I suppose that we, when you're fighting for the Imperium, you even need a uh, kick to get your stamina going. What is this? Um, uh, that's a wine, a wine bottle, I think? That looks like bread, I wanna guess. Okay, and if any of you guys happen to know what any of this stuff is that I don't know in this build, please let me know. There's a piece of cake there on the table. Wow, there's like a, the uh, steam turbo and just glasses. That's amazing. What is this? Okay. And it looks like some type of food here on the table, but I'm not familiar with this. That looks amazing though. Got a couple of kegs here. Okay. I like that effect. Uh, that lighting effect? That looks cool. And I find it funny how this laser says just go throughout the whole ship. Okay, so we got a nice, what, little, uh, skylight area here. Oh, that seems to be for whoa. I know, like, I've been, I, using short, uh, time lapses to, uh, or I've been speeding up the footage, uh, in brief moments for these builds just so you guys i get to see it uh get to see it a bit better without having like uh, stops but i don't think i'm going to do it for this bit very much because there's so much intricate detail in here it's insane like the fact that we have a freaking kitchen in here 
Like, we have a sink here filled with water. We have, like, looks like cupboards in here. We got an actual friggin' stove. Okay, that, that's the heart stone. That is an amazing use for it. Looks like we have a bread box. Wanna guess? Tea kettle, I wanna assume. Not a tea kettle, a, uh, a beer stein. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Looks like we have another spot here for a drink. Huh? Wait! How's that capturing the outside? That's not a screen, is it? Okay, so we got a turret in here. Let's see, where does this lead? Whoa. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, is that right after and I get... I see, uh... Interceptor missiles at this... Quantity, Jesus. What, there's 20... Yeah, 24 missiles in here. Uh, here. Who's this? You know, I'd like to see what you are. Oh. Little... Oh, you're a minigun. AA, I want to assume? Well, Dresden from Fred it has a munition warner on it. I assume so. Okay. Um, that was cool. Okay, I don't want to spoil too much so far because I haven't had a look at the ship myself. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I just... I'm kind of curious on how someone actually does this. Because, I mean, it's done with mimics. But, like, how do you have to do it? Just open a jar like that? I, that just looks amazing. Okay, so going back through here. Here's the... Whoa. Okay, so we got spotlight in here. Uh, okay, so these are lights. Okay. More weapons. More computer. This looks like the tactical room, I want to guess. Wait. Yeah, there's a big mimic here. Okay, let's see what's through here. Or is this... Okay, so this leads back to the, uh, d the uh, dining room there. Whoa. Okay, I got 20 interceptors back here. Damn. Okay. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> wow. I just seen something up there. That gold thing. I'm gonna have a look at that here in a minute. Damn. Wait, why does the steam turbines look different? I don't remember them looking like that before. What the hell? Target part. What is this? Oh, Raider Decoy. Okay. I just don't see Raider Decoys. I build all that often. This is another angle to engine exhaust. What is. Are there settings that you can. Uh... Oh! Okay! So I knew you could uh, adjust the. Uh... Whoa, we got an engine room back here. The Maddock told me before that I could change the angle of the thrusters, but I didn't know you could change the uh, angle of the exhaust for the uh, stand, uh, for the uh, custom just as well. Whoa. Repair unit. Wait. Did they change the name for the repair tentacles? Or is this a custom name? Uh, okay, so it looks like we get about 47,500. That's pretty good uh, engine power and 480,000 uh, resources here. And the resource amount is going uh, relatively slowly. Okay, so we got... Oh, smoke dispensers in here. ACBs. Whoa. Oh, ammo customized. What is this using? Flak, this will tracer, time fused, and a uh, armor piercing head. Whoa, that's this is different. Whoa, this is completely different. Okay, I didn't know this. Oh my god, what's it? One, two, three different ammo customers in here. What's this one using? That's flat. That looks like explosive. This looks like a. It's a heat, I think. It's a hash. What the? Oh, so it's a combination. So we got hash, heat, and EMP. That's really interesting. What 
the hell is this? No, not you. God damn it. Come on, for freak's sake. I know it's not the same thing. Oh, this is the EMP one, so what is this? A solid body and a heavy head. Okay, so what's this top one? Okay, so we got a flak. Seems like a heavy one. And a uh, heat hash EMP combo. Okay, that's rather fascinating. We sure you got a standard door. For, like, all the uh, cool bulkhead doors, just get a standard one. Whoa. Whoa, okay, wow. Where does this go? Huh? Um, how do you get the, whoa. Okay, how do you get this effect? Wow. Okay, and just, just loops back around. How the hell do you do that, though? I've never seen that done before. Okay, so we got... Oh, we got steam turbines in here. Okay. That's cool. Oh, man. Some things in here are just like, what? Whoa, we got cram. That's amazing. I want to guess that that's what I heard when I first saw this thing and I guess kind of ridiculous. Okay, so are they windows? Look like windows. But they must be mimics because they're in the middle of the block. Warp this thing could warp? Oh, it makes you something in the description about warping. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so what? There's 35 cannons on this. 73 missiles, if I'm reading this correctly. I'm not sure what the weapon is on the bottom, though. What the hell? Um. What am I looking at? <laughs> what am I looking at? That's weird. <laughs> what am I looking at? And why does it look like a freaking disco light show down here? Okay, what are you? Um, okay, I'm pausing you. What are- Whoa. Wow, that is a really, real. Yeah, I would say huge hatch. Wait, did they add- Wait, that- What? That's just a huge hatch for the method. What? Why is none of this being registered then? Um. Oh. That's why. What is this? Oh, it's explosive. What is shape charged? Okay. <laughs> wow. I suppose. You want to de deliver death to the enemy. Or. Sorry. Death to the enemy! Thanks to the Russian Badger for that inspiration for that line. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's... What's that? that? That's cool. Portholes here. Yeah, the portholes, honestly, really does have this kind of like Warhammer 40k style feel. Oh, it also reminds me of like a lot of my uh, portholes on a sub. Oh, it's... Wait, what? Okay... Hmm. There's steam engines in here. Oh, this is the uh, stuff that uh, the Maddock told me about. In his, uh, I mentioned in his, uh, well, not the Maddock, one of his uh, Discord people uh, showed, I think it was one of his Discord people who showed it off in, uh, in the, uh, his uh, Discord community build that we shot there a little while ago. Missile ejector. Oops. Is missiles here? Weapon zone. The hell? What is this? A uh, ballast tank and just reinforce bodies. That's interesting. So wait, are they torpedoes? Sonar bo Oh the sonar buoys! Okay. Just gonna say, what are they, torpedoes? But no. 
Okay, we got another seems to oh oh yeah, there's a uh, laser munition defense system back right there. What is oh we got a laser? Wait, is that what that is? Is there like nine lasers on this? <laughs> wow. Oh, that's really cool. The use of the uh, vent pieces there. Oh, we got more laser munition defenses. Okay. Oh, wow. Wait, is there an engine in here? No. Okay, so this is just purely steam powered. Okay. Mm. I might also look into particle cannons a bit more because I have used them a little bit. But honestly, but I had very much. What the hell? That's cool. Okay, now let's have. How is going on in here? Oh. Wait, what? Is that why? <laughs> okay, that must have been what the. Uh... Yeah. Why though? Oh, we got small custom just in here too. Too. Here's the uh, more the cram. Okay. Pretty sure cameras. Needs a rangefinder. What? Oh, so it's concealed in this. That's actually pretty clever. There's a Warner. It just looks funny. Okay. Now let's have a look at what this. Build looks like in its entirety. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Wow. I am just going to say this. When I saw the thumbnail, the thumbnail looked promising. And I don't really normally say this about creations that I see. This is jaw-dropping. Like CZHOU56 did... Did an absolute just phenomenal job on this. The hell? Why does the water look weird? Oh, there's more missiles in here. So what is this? These... Oh, they're torpedoes. Uh, explosive frag and EMP, okay. Seems like it got like, kind of like, general purpose weaponry in here. Which, yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that. But, wow, when we're going through that ship, I had no idea it would be this... Just... Just this... Amazing. I, I'm legitimately just stunned right now. Okay, so we got a laser here. Another double barreled laser here. Got more, uh, looks like AA defense right here. I should've just done this. Which saved me the freaking trouble I had. <laughs> I got a freaking cannon. Looks like we've got another cram cannon right here. Is this? No. Or is that a particle cannon? Yeah, it's a particle cannon in here. So, wait, is that saying there's nine particle cannons in here? Well, what is this? Oh, this is the uh, advanced cannons. Okay. These are freaking... <laughs> freaking crab cannons, Jesus. Wow. And I assume this is... Oh, another missile. Now, let's give this thing a bit of a fire. I'm curious it just what in the hell this thing just sounds like when it fires oh that is beautiful that's actually perfect so what is in here retro deflection detector is that one the oh it's this thing visual camera okay so why is it called retro deflector oh it's this thing okay okay Get ready to hold your guy, uh, ears, guys, because I have feeling this is gonna get loud. Okay, firing in three, two, one. Hold your ears. Christ. Whoa, that actually peaked my audio. 
<laughs> Damn. Wait. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at this smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so we're shooting, at, I think we're shooting at us with the uh, back lasers and <laughs> freaking smoke deployed. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try this side. Oh, that is, wow. Wow. I'm only just... <laughs> There goes my smoke. <laughs> I'm just dumbfounded. I kudos, extreme kudos to uh, C uh, C Z. Like holy hell! I'm gonna outright just put this on one of my favorite builds of all time, and it's coming from more so just me being a Warhammer 40k fan. I mean, even if I wasn't. The amount of detail and work put into it, I mean, it's honestly dumbfounding. I, to me, just saying that this is completely amazing, it just kind of like pales in comparison to uh, just what this build just looks like. And it has like a freaking nuke launcher on the bottom. I. Wow. Oh my god. You know what guys? I'm gonna put a link in the description to this guy's page. So you guys can go and have a look at not only this, but the other work that he's done. Because if he makes stuff this amazing, I can just imagine the other stuff he has built. And I've realized I went on about this for most of the video. But let's head back now to uh, our own build and let's see if we can actually get it finished up this episode because there's not much stuff to do. Okay, here we are. And I'm sorry guys that I just went in a complete gush fest over the uh, our environment, but yeah, like I said, I, that is easily one of the I, best creations that I've seen this game thus far. Don't get me wrong, I do like the other stuff that uh, that other people have made, but that ship, but you guys can probably tell right now, it's just left me just gobsmacked. Because, I mean, well, I will admit it is partly because I am a Warhammer 40k fan, I will say that much, but it's just, just the sheer fact of just the amount of work that uh, CZ put into it. I mean, you can tell he put a lot of hard work into that build. Because, I mean, that's not something that someone will come up with overnight and crank out in about like 10-15 minutes. That took a fair amount of time to do. And it honestly wouldn't surprise me if it took him like a few hours to do that. Because, yeah, building something at that scale is no mean feat. Because I, I made a few replicas in other games before, and yet yeah, they do take a fair amount of time to do because you need to make sure that you're getting everything done right. Because if something is off, then yeah, you're going to take notice of it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have this vehicle be free or not. Because I, the medics need to be free to supply the other aircrafts with uh, resources but i'm not sure if i'm going to do the same thing with this one because i mean i can see the benefit of having this is free but is it really necessary the thing is i don't know damn it it's too close and i just realized that there's no material storage on this yet because i was going to say it's like why is i there no steam power coming out of this there's no resource storage on this you dumbass you know what i might actually put it up in here because i mean this is a complete sealed off room and it's pretty well secure and I might actually do the same thing up here as I did down there and I put uh, wooden beams up and the thing with that actually wouldn't take very long to do especially with this okay wow okay now to put in the resource storages oh yeah and I made a bit of a mistake that I actually later pointed out in a um, previous uh, video I mentioned that I was looking for a block like this but we'll let the corner stretched out I didn't realize that these exist 
This is exactly what I was referring to. Because this is exactly what I uh, wanted for when I was uh, doing the uh, back section and I realized that I was doing it wrong. Okay, back to resource storages. Though I think there's something cool that you can do with those spikes that I just thought of that I might actually do. And you guys can guess what material storage I'm gonna be using. Yes, I'm gonna be using these again. <laughs> because, I mean, they just work. Sure, they're big and heavy, but if you want like a lot of resources, they're a good way to go. And I just completely flubbed it. Good going me. Oh, this will work. 8 on 10,000. That's not bad. And we're still getting no uh, steam power in here because these are uh, steam turbines. I need batteries. I think I'll put them towards the front corners there. Just to keep them safe. Oops. Okay, now for the batteries. I don't think it'd be a good idea for me to put them up like right next to a wall like that. So... What just happened? Did I actually just like spam batteries so quickly I like, made the game freak out? Oops. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's our resources. Duh. Okay, so we got 97, a little over 9700 uh, steam power here. That's not too bad. Okay, so we are using our resources. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to have this free or not. I think it would be a, a better idea for me to have this as free, or at least try to, because I, with this is supplying resources for repair craft, that reminds me the repair crafts are also going to need resource storages on them too. That's just so they'll be able to go around and repair everything. Of course, now I think about that. God, yeah. Okay, so we're still burning resources. Kind of a fast rate. This is honestly faster than what I would like, but sadly, by modern time, Time. Sorry guys, I just I spent most of the time just going as a freaking oogie over a uh, whatever style build. <laughs> Oops. Oh damn it. But you guys have to admit that was honestly amazing. I, that was awesome. Wow, we are actually burning the resources at a quite an alarming rate. Uh, holy crap, there's too much going up like mad. Yeah, still up too high. Anyway, that's gonna do it this time, guys. So, raise the like button for the dips if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, ring a bell if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, guys. Next one now uh, will be to uh, get more work done on this because there won't be a uh, Warhammer 40k video for me to just lose myself over. Don't get me wrong, I love the build. Because for me to spend uh, about 28 minutes of a video on a build, hey, that's one way you know you did a damn good job. Because to keep my attention for that long, especially when I have something else going on, yeah, needless to say, you did good.